What are you doing? Get up. You are not someone allowed to fall here. You must know already. The true nature of bonds. What bonds give to you. Here, listen closely. What's the matter? Isn't it too early to give up? You taught me what a family truly is. I had my hands full just with Nanako when you came rolling in. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. But then again, I can get back up as many times as I need to with you two with me. However painful it gets, I'll just grip my teeth. I'll get up as many times as I have to for you two. My father can be pretty stupid that way, huh? Don't go, partner. Everything inside me changed after I met you. I'm glad we met. I wouldn't have made it this far if I hadn't done it alongside you. You can't let it end this way, right? You can keep going. Right, partner? No! Don't leave me! I'm scared. I'm such a stubborn, two-faced coward. But you understood me. That's why I can become as strong as I need to be. Hey, can you hear me? Don't close your eyes yet. I'll give you our strength. You're our last hope. Please, get back up just once more. Senpai, how much longer are you gonna just lie there? I mean, like that senpai? Not the kind of guy who can let it drop like this. That ain't the senpai I look up to. Get back up. Just one more time. Let me protect you. Senpai, thanks. I'm glad I came to this town. When I think back on all the fun I had with you, Senpai, please stand up just one more time. They'll be your strength. Senpai, if you stay down, I won't forgive you. You gave me a reason for me to stay just as I am. For someone like you to leave me in the dark halfway like this. Please stand up just once more. Let's fight this together. Never fear. We're always together. Let us worry about you for once. You don't have to shoulder the entire burden by yourself. We're right there with you. A couple of morons waiting to prop you up. Come on, you can stand, right? You gotta be choking. Don't you care that I won't be able to take another step forward if you disappear? I couldn't stick by someone who'd do that to me. Please don't give up, Senpai. I've had enough with losing the people most precious to me. I don't want to lose you too. Senpai, thank you for thinking of me when you're suffering. You're priceless to me. I could do anything for you, Senpai. What about you? 
Can you stand up again for someone? For me? I'm sorry I can't be there to support you in your hour of need. Life. It's filled with so many things that are dirty, grotesque, and painful. There's no way you can stand it alone. But no one is truly alone in this world. You know that, since you've protected those precious to you, right? Come on. People are waiting for you. Come on, my dear. It's too early yet for you to sleep. I know you must be a little tired, but there are still people waiting for you. Have you really done everything you can for those precious to you? Thanks, mister. To tell the truth, to be brave, to stand up again, to believe? You taught me all those things. You have to believe that you're not alone either, mister. Mister. Actually, you're only a high school boy. You must have gone through so much pain. Yeah, it must have been so tough for you. But it's wonderful to be able to protect someone who matters to you. You showed me that joy. Man, you're so cruel. You make me take responsibility for my sins, but you're gonna let this bitch take you down like this? <laughs> That's hilarious. Get up. You're not like me, right? Sensei. I'll protect you, Sensei. You gave me my life. You're important to me. I'm not alone anymore. And neither are you, Sensei. I'm sure together we can do things that no one could do alone. when they'll stop and think they can't go another step. But everyone desperately pushes on. Please, grant everyone's wishes. Bring light to people's hearts. Please get up. Just once more.
Why? Why don't you understand? It's impossible for humans to grasp the truth with their own hands. Be. How could I be defeated? How am I the one to disappear? Instead of the endless struggle, wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance? Isn't that true peace for humans? How many times do we have to tell you? The hell with that shit! Stop assuming you know us! <laughs> Very well. Then try and live your way. Power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man, well done. This is more like a beginning for us, though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. Welcome back. Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you, I would have disappeared along with the fog when the Hollow Forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be alright. The fragments you defeated have returned to me, and will soon become one. My name is... Izanami no Mikoto. The fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you. Please do not forget. I am always by your side. <laughs> How marvelous. You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world. 
This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift, and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one, worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forth. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you move closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Now, go forth and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won, the bright, magnificent future. used to look like this. So this is the world inside people's hearts. Yo. Well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. N no more senpai from t tomorrow on! <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But... but... <laughs> Sheesh. <clears throat> This stuff's kind of contagious, you know? We gotta put on a good face for Senpai. Hey, bro. Uh -uh. I don't want you to go away. Nanako, didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. Sensei, 
I finally found a place for me. That's why I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again, I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say, that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai, this town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! Were you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Come on, my honeys. Bluffing that way isn't very cute, you know. You're just gonna be going in and out of the TV at Juness. How's that different from what you've been doing? Um, I can't quite decide what to do. At first, I only planned on staying here until the case was completely closed. Maybe I should stick to my original plan and take the train back with you, Senpai. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I couldn't do something like that. It's not as though we'll never see each other again. Feel free to call me anytime, even if there isn't a case to solve. I don't feel like saying goodbye either. Hey, you got any plans during the long holiday in May? If you're free, come over and visit. With no mysteries to solve, we can have some real fun. I'll make reservations now so that we can stay at my family's inn. Ooh, I can get my revenge for that night. Our surprise sneak attack will work for sure this time. Don't bring that up, you stupid bear. Hey, what happened to going back to that world? That has nothing to do with this. It's entirely different. That reminds me, she's not here. I would have thought that she would come today at least. Oh yeah, I haven't seen her ever since. Oh. Is she doing okay? You'd think? So you haven't seen her either then? Well, as long as she's doing well, that's okay. But back to a serious note, she should have at least shown up here since this is the last time we'll see you. <laughs> this isn't the last time, stupid Moranji! Why do you have to say things like that too? It's almost time. You better get on the train. Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. If anything happens, you can always come back here. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for everything. Please take care. It's going to be lonely without you. Really lonely. But we'll meet again soon, right? Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running! Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, be careful. I'll see you, big bro. Bye-bye. <laughs>
He's really gone. It's sad that he won't be around, but we will be okay, right guys? Doesn't matter how far apart we are. The bonds we've made will remain strong. Everyone's heart is connected to the people they know and trust. It's those bonds that let us all search for our purpose in life. As long as it's a purpose you believe in, there will always be someone who can help you fulfill it. You, me, and everyone else, there are no barriers. Our hearts are one, right, Sensei? And pause. Dry your eyes. I'm pausing to let you know that right there would mark the end of Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4 for PlayStation 2. However, Persona 4 Golden has its own exclusive epilogue that takes place a little bit later. I'm letting uh, you know this because between the regular ending and the epilogue, there are more games and more stories, talking about Persona 4 Arena and Arena Ultimax. So if you'd like to get the lowdown on those before viewing the P4G epilogue, then you can either play those games or view them on the channel because they'll be going up shortly after this game. So if you're in the distant future, you can do that at your own discretion. And I'll upload the epilogue as its separate video if uh, anyone wants to see that separately of this. But that's all I have to say. Here's the P4G epilogue and I will rejoin you during the credits. I have seen the light. I've learned the most important lesson from the events last year. Unfortunately, this world is full of things meant to deceive people. The things you do in pursuit of justice may actually be a terrible mistake. One man is not enough to judge these things. It was a group of boys and girls who taught me that. In their spirit, I want to join hands with all of you to rethink this town's future. I want Inaba to be a town free from deceit and distractions that keep you from focusing on the things most important to you. Hey kid, do you know who that is? He was arrested during those terrible murders last year, right? And now he's running for mayor. That was a surprise. He's so passionate though. At first, no one wanted to go near him, but look at him now. I've been to a few of his speeches. I think he might be a pretty nice guy. If we can all work together on this and not get so sidetracked by passing trends, this town will regain its former glory. So please, lend me your strength, please.
Hey, what do you think of beefsteak onigiri? We can freeze it and sell it nationwide through amazing commodities. I don't know. Those are handmade, aren't they? I don't think we can mass produce them. On the other hand, maybe limited quantities and handmade are good selling points that could revitalize this town. I thought of moving away once, but I don't think I could bear to be away from here. I understand completely. This is where we were born and raised. We'll have to work together if we don't want it to fall apart. Great news! Juness said we'll have their full cooperation! Yes! Good thing we went to talk with them. If only we'd done it sooner. But what are we supposed to sell in a locally produced goods section? I guess the steak kebabs are good, but what other stuff is there? We're not famous for anything else. It could be anything, you halfwit! Vegetables, fish, even ramen! As long as it's something we put our backs into, it'll sell like hotcakes! You gotta work hard so you don't embarrass Janess! We can't be weak now! You're going to give us away, idiot! Only because you were slow! Slow like a jar of molasses! Shut up! He's going to hear! Ah, oh, we blew it! Oh well, here goes! One, two... Wah! Bah! It's a bear! What are you guys doing? This isn't anything like we planned! What's with the bar? It's a bear? Oh, you make it sound like we're the ones getting ambushed! I knew we'd run into snags. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, senpai! You're here, you're here! Did you miss me? Uh, we heard you were coming, so we planned a little surprise. I mean, things got kind of nuts when you last visited in May. We thought instead of you coming to each of our houses, we'd spice things up this time. Yeah, and we thought you'd miss us a little if you couldn't find any of us. It didn't go quite like we planned, but it's been a while, senpai. Were you surprised? Oh, you mean Kanji-kun, right? Well... Kanji-kun, Yukiko won't stop laughing! Yeah, will you asshats lay off? You're getting a little rude there. <laughs> well, we have all changed a little. None of us can remain in stasis forever. already none of us want to be the guy who's always talking about how great things were back in the day as long as we're all here keeping an eye out for each other we can change Yosuke's still a show-off not me though I'm different now why I've powered up so much that I'm probably a grizzly bear huh sounds powerful I'll stick you with all the manual labor then It's me. Did the surprise go well? <laughs> Don't say that to a detective. But give me a break. They forced me to act like I wasn't home. I'm a pro when it comes to seeing through a lie, but when I'm the one who has to put on an act, I don't last five seconds. Anyway, bring them all back here. I've got a good meal waiting. Really? Let's eat! Hey, Kanji! This is to celebrate Senpai coming back! Shut up, I know!
Oh, so good! Jason, by that's your second one. We get one each, remember? <sighs> you kids sure eat a lot. I thought I might have ordered too much, but look at you, plowing through it already. Sorry about that, and thanks. Isn't Nanako-chan here? I'd hate to eat her share, too. She's at piano lessons. Don't worry, I set hers aside. Oh, didn't I tell you? Yeah, Nanako started learning the piano. She should be back any time now. I'm sure she'll be rushing home. Ever since she found out you'd be back, it's all she's talked about. Me? Well, my injuries are healing. Apart from that, I've been slowly moving on, bit by bit. Actually, I came across some information about an old hit-and-run incident. The victim was Chisato Dojima, my wife. I've been chasing dead ends and false leads for so long, but I think I'm finally getting close to the truth. Just when I thought I'd keep my personal feelings separate from my job. <laughs> it's strange. Though, it's thanks to you that I was able to draw that line in the first place. Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, about the incidents last year. Uh, Namatame got released on lack of evidence. I can't tell you too much, but basically no one could reproduce his supposed methods, not even Namatame himself. He was very insistent on the details of his crimes, but a diary isn't enough evidence to build a case on. He came to me to apologize, but I told him he should come up with his own way to make up for it. He said he was going to run for mayor. I don't know how serious he was about that. Oh, so that was Namatame-san giving those speeches. Oh, yeah. And I went to see Adachi. What happened to him? Were you the one to interrogate him? No, I wasn't part of that. I couldn't be. We were too close. But he was indicted. It was probably just circumstantial evidence, but he said a lot of things only the real killer could know. After they set a trial date for him, I was able to go see him. I see. They say he's a model prisoner. The bastard says he gets better treatment behind bars than he did when he was working with me. Huh. Next time I go see him, I'll bring him a cheap cabbage. I'm home! Dad, is Big Bro... Big Bro! <laughs> Surprise, Nanako? Welcome home, Nana-chan! Teddy, too? And Risei-chan! <laughs> Everyone's here! I'm learning piano now, and I've been a good girl! <laughs> but you're here, and everyone else, too! <laughs> this is so exciting! <laughs> I didn't think she'd ask to start piano lessons. Like mother, like daughter, I guess. Chisato was a piano teacher, but Nanako's pretty good herself. At first, I didn't even want to hear the word piano. Now that she wants to learn, I gotta get over it. I remember what my mom played. I'm gonna play it for you, Dad. Dad, the weather report's on. And now, the weather. It was nice and sunny today, but what will it look like after that? Take it away, Mariko. Hello, Mariko Kasumi here. We've been having a lot of rain recently, so starting today, I'm gonna make it sunny. I mean, after all that rain, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any water shortages this summer. And besides, someone's visiting. I can't have it rain while he's here, so I'm gonna keep it sunny for a while. Mariko? Mariko, please calm down. Oh, but if it gets too hot, then some rain should be fine. He should tell me whenever he wants it different, and I'll change it. Just like that. Oh, I forgot to mention... She's been coming here a lot. She's famous now. How'd she get so popular so fast? What was the station thinking? Her stage name's so boring, too. This 
girl will decide tomorrow's weather, right? Whenever she says it's gonna be sunny, the sun comes out. Uh, in her case, maybe. Thanks, Mariko. Tell our viewers goodbye. I hope you all have a good day tomorrow. Remember, the more you put in, the more you get out. The more you get out. I see that weather girl a lot. The younger ones at the station tell me they feel motivated whenever she does that. I feel it a little myself, to be honest. Well, I'm just glad the weird fog is gone. Now we don't have to obsess over the weather report. It is really great, though. Everyone in town is more motivated. Yeah, people have so much energy now. You're right. It doesn't wear you down walking through town anymore. Not like last year. Everyone has a more positive outlook on life than when I first came. It shows people can change. For better or worse, I guess. Depends on your perspective. After the fog lifted, I'm sure people just realize that it's a lot brighter when your eyes are open. There's a lot we'd rather not see. A lot of grime in the human heart. But if you close your eyes to everything, you can't even see the people close to you. How can you be happy like that? The only thing to do, really, is to keep marching on, straight ahead. I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> Guess I had more to drink than I thought. Oh yeah, Nanako, didn't you say there was something you wanted to tell him when he came home? Your cooking is barely food, Chie. <laughs> hey, Shut up! Hey, what about yeah, mine? Yeah, it's cold, Yosuke. I could have made something, uh, too. Please don't. Hmm? Um, what was that? I can cook if I put my mind um, to it. Mm -hmm. So can I. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's... Uh -huh. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Well, yes. yeah. Uh -uh. Well, then. One and two. Good to see you, Senpai. Well, Kanji, it was welcome back. How could you mess that up? Hey, just shut up, all right? I just got stage fright, that's well, all. Well, I figured someone would blow it. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Persona 4 Golden. I want to start this by saying, as of now, this is my favorite game ever made. Now, obviously, there's a big release coming up real soon, and we'll see how that potentially changes things, but this is my favorite game ever. Uh, it's a fantastic game, and I really feel, when I say favorite, I do mean golden. I feel like golden uh, is P4 on steroids, even uh, even though there are some people that don't like some of the changes. I embrace all of them, and I embrace the length and longevity and just sheer beauty that golden adds to the original P4, which was already fantastic. This is a great, great game. The message that it teaches the player and everything. I had such a different feeling about this than Persona 3, and that's not a knock on P3 at all because I fucking love P3, and P3 is definitely a top 10 all time as well. But one of my favorite things about this game compared to P3, and it's not necessarily whether which one's right or which one's wrong, is that in Persona 3, you play as a character, uh, now I, I won't spoil that for anyone that's hasn't played P3 and didn't check out the P3 LP. I feel like with Persona 3, you play vicariously through a character in their own life. I feel like the P3 main character is his own person. He's a, uh, it's his own story and we as the player get to experience his story. Whereas Persona 4, for better or for worse, whether you prefer this or not, I really identify as a person with the main character, with Yunaru Kami. I feel like I'm actually the character that's on the screen. And in the original ending, when the investigation team is saying goodbye to him and he's leaving on the train, it is a really emotional ending for me. And it's not because I'm seeing a character that I like leave other characters I like. I feel like it's me saying goodbye to a game that I love. That it's you, the player, having to say goodbye to Inaba, to Persona 4. And that's a really powerful feeling when you think about it because in a way when you create an RPG where the player assumes the role of the main character, a silent main character, and the player defines everything that uh, is that character's identity through the game, 
to achieve that kind of feeling at the very end of it, that is the ultimate mark of success, and that's why I love Persona 4 so much. The things that make this game special, and it's not a perfect game, I don't want to say that it's perfect, because there might be a couple little things here and there that are a little wonky, but in the end what makes this game so special is the way it develops its character, uh, its characters, the, the incredible uh, attachment that I as a player feel towards the investigation team, uh, the way I'm able to ultimately identify with the main character. Then on top of that, the story, uh, the way the plot is written, the conflict. I, you already heard me just get on my knees and suck a dachi off for how well he's written in terms of a antagonist in the franchise. And uh, everything else, the little things that this game gets right, the art direction, Soji Meg uh, Meguro's music, just everything is just so fantastic and I love this game. And it's kind of weird to me because, to be honest, to be completely candid with you, prior to Persona, I saw the genre of JRPGs as kind of this weird niche thing that I wasn't sure if I could get into. And then I experienced P4, I'll be uh, honest and say P4 was my first Persona, as it was for, to be honest, a lot of people. And it just completely changed my perspective, so much so that... Uh, me, someone who values a very different kind of game, who I could tell you my other favorite games, and a lot of them are 2D side scrollers, games from the late 80s through the 90s, and then maybe some uh, more action y games in the 2000s. So, for this game to just storm that list of my all time favorite games and me to say it's my favorite ever, this is my favorite game ever made, it's what a testament to. Atlas's genius to Kisura Hashino's genius and that's why we're here that's why we're playing through every game that's uh, been under his direction or at least his uh, executive direction from P3 onward and this is why we're experiencing the 2016 Persona 5 hype train so before we end this uh, I'd like to say again that we, we heard a little bit of references to that craziness in May and that's because Persona 4 Arena and Arena Ultimax will take place during Golden Week 2012 those will be up on the channel shortly after this, as will the third sequel, Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which is set after this game. Actually, after the epilogue, was what I mean to say. So that will all be up on the channel. And then, uh, hopefully sometime by the end of this year, Persona 5 will be out here in the States, and we'll get to experience that. So my final words are, I hope you uh, were along for this entire ride. I hope you feel a lot if not identical, in terms of uh, how I feel about Persona 4 Golden. Uh, this is Scott saying, have a good one. Take us out, Shinhoko.